Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, and this question here is a question from the old C34 um, paper from the International A level at, at Excel from June 2015. Question about um, differential equations. And this question was requested by one of the students for me to answer. So, first of all, part A says prove by differentiation that the derivative of lin of tan 2y with respect to y will give you 4 over sine 4y. Okay, so here we got to differentiate with respect to y lin of tan 2y. The lin of tan 2y. Okay, so what that's going to give us when you differentiate something which is the lin of something, you you end up with 1 over that same thing. So it's 1 over tan of 2y. Then you multiply that by the differential of what's inside the function. So I've got to multiply that by the differential of tan 2y, which is secant squared 2y, and then multiplied by 2, because that's inside this function. So it's like three layers of the chain rule. So you differentiate lin of something, you get 1 over the same thing. Then you multiply by the differential of what's inside the function. So that gives you c secant squared 2y. But that also has a, something inside its function, which is 2y. Differentiate 2y, you get 2. So you end up with 2 times secant squared 2y okay, over tan 2y. Now we want it to simplify to this 4 over sine 4y. So these are in terms of 2y and this is in terms of 4y. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that they've got, we're going to have to be dealing with a double angle formula. So let's first try to rewrite this in a more um, simple kind of way. Let's get rid of the secant squared. Now I know secant squared of something, secant is like the reciprocal of the cosine um, secant is a reciprocal of cosine so this is like 2 times cosine squared 2y um, sorry 2 times 1 over you can say well let's rewrite it in this way first to make your life easier what I'm going to do is I'll write this as 2 times secant squared 2y divided by tan 2y I'll write that first and then I'll write secant squared y as 1 over cosine squared y. So that's 2 over 2 over cosine squared 2y. Okay. Divided by, and I'll write this as sine 2y over cosine 2y. Using the identity that the tan of an angle is equal to the sine of the same angle divided by the cosine of that same angle. So now we can um, write this as 2 over cosine of cosine squared 2y times cosine 2y over sine 2y when you when you divide to a fraction you do multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction so now things can cancel out that cosine 2y cancel with this cosine 2y leaving you just a cosine 2y here so we're left with 2 over you can say sine 2y times cosine 2y. So now we have something which we can use a double angle formula with. Because I know from my identities that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a times cosine a. So it's kind of similar to that. Yeah. So this is like, I can rewrite this as a half of the sine of 2a is equal to sine a cosine a. So what I can do here is when I want to rewrite this in this form, I can take a half of the coefficient, so this is going to become 2 over, and that's a half times, and this will be sine, and I double the angle. The angle here is double when you write it in this form. When you go from this way to this way, this coefficient is a half, so this is a half of sine of 4a, so 4y here, 4y, okay? So this is 2 divided by half is 4, so you get 4 over sine of 4y. Okay, so there we have our answer, 4 over sine of 4y, and that worked out fine. So we can we can say that the differential of the lin of the tan of 2y, 
which is what we started with, with respect to y, is going to be given as 4 over sine 4y, as we were asked to show. And that's the answer for part A. Now for part B, it says, given that y equals pi over 6 when x equals 0, solve the following differential equation. I've got the result from part A over here in case we, we need it, which is most probably going to be the case in these type of questions. So let's just now solve this differential equation first. All right, so um, basically you've got dy dx is equal to 2 sine, sorry, 2 cosine x times sine 4y. You see, it looks like we probably are going to have to use this. 2 cosine x times sine 4y. Now, if I want to solve this differential equation, I have to end up with something. In this case, I want us tan 2y is equal to some function of x. So in the end, we have to have tan 2y as the subject. So I have to integrate both sides with respect to x. Okay, what you do to one side, you do to the other. So that's what I'm going to write here first. Integrate both sides with respect to x here. The dx is cancelled out. And the next step is for us to make sure that we bring everything to one side. Okay, bring everything to one side. So what we're going to do, everything where it says dy should be in the side that says dy. And so all the x terms, sorry, should be in the side that says x, dx, and all the y terms should be on the side that says dy. So let me repeat that. All the terms which have got y in them as a variable should be on the side that says dy. So I need to divide both sides by sine 4y. So I end up with um, 1 over sine of 4y. Integrate that with respect to y equals. And everywhere where it says x, uh, I'm going to put on the side that says dx. So this will be 2 times cosine x with respect to x and I have my limits as I told us when y equals pi over 6 um, x equals 0 so what I'm going to do is say y, y equals pi over 6 when x equals 0 and I'll put here y and I'll put here x okay that will help me find the value of the constant of integration directly All right now we have this result here which I'm going to use now this result is from part a so if we think about this going backwards. That means the integral of 4 over sine 4y with respect to y is going to give us lin of tan 2y. That's what it's going to give us. That's like, um, you know, just plus c, of course, but that's, that's the integral of this. Now, we want 1 over sine 4y. Okay, so this is, this would be, you could say, the integral 4 times the integral of 1 over sine 4y with respect to y is going to give us this lin of tan 2y plus c. That means 1 over sine 4y is going to be equal to a quarter. Let's divide both sides by 4. A quarter of lin um, tan 2y. So if I integrate this, it's going to give me 1 over 4 times lin of tan 2y. So this will give me a quarter times the lin of tan 2y. Tan 2y. All right, I don't need to put plus c because this is a different integral. I've got my y and my pi over 6 now. Equals, and the integral of cosine x is sine x. This will be 2 times. You're going to have sine x. And you're going to have between x and 0. So now... I have got my integral in the right form. Now I have to write my answer in this form in the end. I need to find what a and b are. So let's go ahead and put the values of y in here. So I can write the quarter outside. A quarter times lin tan 2y. Lin of tan 2y. Minus lin of tan of 2 times pi over 6, which is pi over 3, equals 2 times sine x minus sine of 0. Okay, I've just put the values of x and y in here, uh, the limits in here. Now, 
what this is going to give me is um, I can multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the quarter. So I'll have lin of tan of 2y minus the lin of now the tan of pi over 3 is root 3 pi over 3 is 60 degrees. That's going to be 2, 1, root 3, yeah, root 3 over 1. So that's the lin of root 3. You can put that in a calculator in radian mode and you get root 3. Okay, equals, and this is 2 sine x. Sine of 0 is 0. So now um, I multiply both sides by 4. This has got a quarter in front of it, sorry. Okay, multiply both sides by 4, so that will become an 8 there. So I now have lin of tan of 2y over root 3. I just combine these together into 1. And then I am also multiply both sides by 4, so that gives me 8 sine x. Okay, so I've multiplied both sides by 4, and I've combined this inside this bracket into one lin. Using the laws of uh, logarithms, we have a subtraction becomes like a division here. So now, what does this mean? This basically means log to the base e of this equals 8 sine x. Okay, that's what it means. Lin means log to the base e. Lin is basically log to the base e. So if I say log to the base e of a equals b, that means e to the power of b equals a. This is the you got this is the base, this is the power, this is the result. So I can rewrite this as tan of 2y over root 3 is equal to e to the power of 8 sine x. <clears throat> so now I can say that the tan of 2y equals root 3 times e to the power of 8 sine x. And there is the answer. And they asked us, yeah, a and b are constants to be found. So we can see that a is root 3. And it says e to the power of bx. B sine x, sorry. So B is 8. And there's the answer to this question um, on differential equations. Question number 8 from June 2015. Other questions from this particular paper can be found um, in this playlist once I am requested to answer those questions. I'm not going to go through the whole paper. Um, I do that for the more recent papers. For the older papers, I answer questions by request. So if somebody else requests another question from this paper, I'll put it in the playlist over here. Other questions which I've collected together about differential equations from C34 and the new P4 will be in this playlist over here, also from the old C4, P, C4 papers as well. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.